Turkey. Okay, welcome to Istanbul. And we are lucky today because it's it's shining. It's the sun. This is your own place, your own home, and we wait you here all the time. Acımız kendisiyle, ailesiyle, toplumuyla ve yaşamış olduğu dünyayla barışık insanlar yetiştirmektir. We are trying to raise the people who are very uh, happy with their family, with their uh, neighborhood, with the world, and with their country. And uh, the most important thing for the world is peace, understanding, and tolerance. You know what very well. And we just work for it as Fatih Colleges. You offered us Fatih as your home, as our home when we're here. And I have to say, we very much feel at home from the beginning because we share so much the same kinds of mission and the same kinds of values from what I can see this far. That we want our graduates when they are done to think deeply, to connect broadly, to serve usefully, and to live faithfully. <laughs> This is your president's work, this is our president's work. <laughs> One of the things that I find very interesting that that was in the video um, and also by the statements made here uh, is really the awareness that educators like yourselves and administrators have is the issue of being open and tolerant. Uh, and I find that very unique uh, and very important, especially in today's world, and the importance of being a, having a global vision. I think that's a very important trait to have nowadays. Uh, these traits are important not because they sound good, but in order to have a full, complete education, one has to be open and tolerant to have new ideas, to new seeing new methods of understanding other people's and ideas. And I think that's a very important trait of having an education.
was standing on the second round.
show. So I have Sultan Masjid mm -hmm. for Fajr prayer on Sunday morning. CDs, music, prayer books, Qurans.
on the building uh, that has been done in Turkey as a newspaper building. This is the last place for the prayer. There are some uh, horses from Kupa. And those stones are uh, for earthquake. It's two stones here, right? One of them is here, one of them is here. And they put like one iron, like two.
How often do you speak English in Turkey? She had she had three but one weeks ago. And she had seen her best friend in the US. Now she lives in the US. And she, she saw her in her dream. And then her friends told her that one of the American groups are gonna come there. And so I guess you're gonna guess them. So get ready for it. <laughs> so like for two days I was like got some gifts for it, but he, he doesn't know about the, the numbers. It's true. And Musa is saying, says, even though we have different cultures, different religious, different beliefs, but we have one thing that connects us, which is love. Because even though we don't speak the same language, but we do understand each other from by looking, from the eyes, from the feels. Hospitality, it's been wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sounds like you How is the Sumitaza? It's very good. Is it like bagel? Yeah, it's better than bagel. Because you can eat it, eat it without cream cheese. Welcome to our hospital, to our first hospital here. Thank you. 
This is Jennifer. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Just say no. Evet, bu gerçek diyaloglarla problemlerimizi daha kolay çözeceğimize ve birbirimizi daha iyi anlayacağımıza inanıyorum. With a true or real uh, dialogue, we, I believe that we are going to understand each other a little, better, a little bit better and a little bit more. Their vision is to have a, to educate the students that will both have real life experience and also the theoretical uh, knowledge. The students here need to graduate and integrate into Turkish society, be business leaders, uh, engineers, uh, be able to work in their fields and produce knowledge uh, and technology not only in English but also uh, in Turkish, so be able to be competitive in two languages.
author Mark Twain once said, good fences make good neighbors. I believe he was exactly wrong. I believe that good fences do not make good neighbors. I believe that good friends make for good neighbors. One of the things that I have enjoyed the most is the beautiful mosaic windows in your mosques. It strikes me that they are a symbol for what we might become together. Each piece of glass is a different color, a different shape, um, and a different, allows in a different amount of light. Each part of the window is different, but only together are they most beautiful. You would certainly be proud of the dedication and of the vision of the Turkish people in Chicago. I have been asked here what most touches me about so far the trip to, to Turkey has been this dedication, the love that is shown within your hearts through, again, education and your moral compass of God. And through our hearts, we all do connect in God. And so I thank you for this opportunity for this evening, as well as, as the way that you move into the world, I think as leaders in the movement of peace, as you have the knowledge of the best of both worlds, from the East and the West, and you are able to gift the rest of the world. There is a place in the Holy Quran and in the scriptures of the Christian tradition and in the Jewish community, it talks about the place of hospitality. And in that notion of hospitality, of receiving strangers as family, and indeed what we have received through the hospitality of the Niagara Foundation and indeed all of the Turkish community has captured our imagination and touched our heart and soul in profound ways and for that we are exceedingly appreciative. It will be my hope, inshallah, that I will be able to return with students here to receive the graciousness that you all have offered to our student body in the future. What did you feel when you joined us in the morning uh, class at the mosque? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Both back in New York and here, one of the great pleasures is to be able to join with dear students and here with dear colleagues and to go into that mystery of silence and prayers. But as Professor Mulvaney lifted up, I've had the privilege of on one day, all of us went into the Blue Mosque with all many, many people in the middle of the day, and then to go in in the morning at 6 a.m. in the dark and in the complete quiet, and with 15 men, and to bow and to give thanks and to offer prayers, and then the lights come on. It is so beautiful. It was amazing. I will never forget. Thank you very much for this gift. <laughs> E, sayın misafirimiz şundan emin olsun ki bendeniz de e, gerek Türkiye'deki gerek yurt dışındaki kiliselerde ziyaret ettiğim zaman katıldığım ayinlerde aynı hazzı aynı duyguyu yaşamışımdır. Çünkü aynı Tanrı'ya inanıyoruz ve aynı peygamberlerin izinden gitmeye çalışıyoruz. İsa'nın dağdaki vaazını ve Hz. Muhammed'in insanlarla son görüşmesindeki hitabesini bir kere daha okumalarını salık veriyor. Of Jesus Christ on the mountain and uh, the Quran or sayings of Prophet Muhammad. Uh,
Estonia was center of uh, science. We're checking out the Rumi Museum in Konya, Turkey. You can see they are practicing whirling. Compare the principal's room. So they will never see also his father's tomb. And there was no tomb at that time. His father's grave. Turkish, I believe, and I would like to ask that to you. If you spend some time with the people, and when we leave uh, each other, what we say that, please, hakkını helal et, which means that we, we share sometimes together. And just because of we share sometimes together, we might have some uh, good days or, or bad days, some positives or some negatives. But whatever we have done that, they are going to see us, each other, in the hereafter, after that. And could you please tell when we see each other that you are okay with me? You are okay. Do you think I can hear that you are okay with the, with the trip and with us? Okay. Okay, Steve, but we're way more than okay with the trip. Thank you for it.